Hello, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video we will discuss about creatinine. What is creatinine? Where does it form? And how we can control it? So let's start with this video. Creatinine is a waste material formed in the muscle and it forms throughout the day. If your kidney works properly, creatinine will be excreted in the urine. But when the kidneys get any kind of damage, whether it is due to BP, sugar or polycystic kidney, this creatinine doesn't come out with urine. If the kidney function is getting lower, the creatinine clearance would also get lower. So the creatinine starts accumulated inside the body. You can know about creatinine with your KFT reports. Creatinine value help us understand how well your kidney is working. If toxins are elevating in the body, it means the kidney is not doing well and we can imagine the damage that happened in the kidney. So basically to find out how well your kidneys are working, you need to practice your medical test. Keeping an eye on creatinine level is important in kidney patients as it helps us understand kidney's health better. Now the question is, what should we do when the creatinine is increasing? How should we deal with high creatinine and urea levels? There are two ways you can reduce your creatinine level. First is to control its production in the body. Second is to increase your creatinine clearance through urine. And if you follow these two ways, you can reduce your level of creatinine. So we have to work on both simultaneously. Now let's recall when I said creatinine is a protein in nature, that is if our body gets more protein than required, then the more creatinine will form. That is the waste created by muscles. That is why all patients with kidney failure have to control their creatinine levels by reducing their protein intake and should only take protein required to perform bodily functions. If you are eating non veg like fish, meat and eggs means if you are eating more protein which will be converted into creatinine and the creatinine level will increase. So this rise of creatinine level is not because of kidney damage but because you are taking more protein than the required by the body. So your body produce more creatinine and elevate its level. So you must have understood that more protein intake results in more creatinine levels and you should immediately stop excess protein intake. Whatever other nutrients you get through other food will convert into protein to provide energy. So you would not require more protein. So we suggest you to cut down on lentils, extra pulses and known vegetarian food item as well. Cut down your dairy products like cheese to control protein intake and creatinine production. So this was the first thing you have to do. But until your creatinine clearance through urine doesn't increase, your JFR won't increase and you have to go for dialysis eventually. So when you improve kidney health and function, creatinine clearance will also improve and more creatinine clearance will lower its level in the blood. To improve creatinine clearance, you have to understand kidney's failure and why our kidney got damaged in the first place because there is always some factor behind kidney damage. Well, in the 80% of the cases, the reason for kidney damage is blood pressure or high sugar levels. High sugar levels for a long period damage kidney functions which increase creatinine levels. So you have to find out the root cause of kidney damage and if at least you can control the root cause of kidney damage, it will prevent further damage to the kidneys. Now suppose your creatinine level is 6 mg per deciliter. Even then, you may not notice any symptom. But at this level, 80% of the kidney is not working. So the first thing is to prevent any rise in the creatinine level by controlling the root cause of kidney damage. In step number one, we have to control the main culprit of the kidney failure. And for that, we have to identify the major cause of kidney damage in particular case. Suppose you have a history of hypertension and you are a non-diabetic patient and your kidney is shrinking. That gives us a clear indication that the high BP is the main cause of kidney failure. The size of the kidney can be easily observed in the ultrasound report. If the size of the kidney is smaller than 10 cm or we can say 100 mm, 
we can consider it as a small kidney. Now, if the size of the kidney is normal, but you are a diabetic and you have a no history of blood pressure, that means that patient is suffering from diabetic nephropathy and type 2 diabetes. It is a main cause of kidney damage and this high blood pressure and sugar are the major almost 80% cause of all kidney cases. Now first eliminate the root cause of kidney damage so that kidney can revive its function by gradually improving its working. So your kidney will improve when it doesn't get any further damage and kidney starts clearing more creatinine through urine. Now you must know our kidney also has the ability to improve its functions. In cases when you have to remove one of the kidneys due to any kind of serious injury, still the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increase. But how it could be? Because the person has only one kidney, the working must have reduced to 50%. But still, you will see no difference because the kidney can improve its functions with the help of undamaged part of the kidney. And we use this ability to the kidney in every kidney failure patient. So when we start kidney treatment, kidney functions improve, creatinine clearance increases and creatinine level drops in blood, which we, you will see in the KFT reports. For example, if the creatinine level was 8 mg per deciliter, it dropped gradually with treatment. Now I will show you some reports and introduce you to kidney patient to get a clear idea how things works in patient. Now I hope you have understand how we can reduce the level of creatinine and urea in a kidney failure patient. If you have any kind of doubt query regarding kidney failure treatment, you can contact us. You can talk with our doctors and you can also book an appointment with me. With this, I would like to say goodbye. See you in the next video.